one more thing. If you see Axius, shoot first. He's not a talker. Yeah, I assume so, but... Or at least pretend to be respectful. Oh, he didn't take everything. So we are going roughly this direction. Oh no, no, he's not way to the east. Okay. We'll probably have to go back to Nora to drop off the quest, and then once we've done that, we can. Oh, he's over this way. Okay. I detect multiple life forms, Pathfinder. Likely Axius and his scavengers. Records indicate Axius has multiple bounties on his head. Be careful, Pathfinder. I thought you were a Cheerian. Apparently that headshot didn't count. Interesting. Are you guys not hostile now? They're not hostile. That's interesting, because I have just shot them in the head. Maybe they're really intimidated by the fact they just killed Axius. I honestly have no idea what's going on. This appears to be the thrust catalyzer from Nora's ship. Finally. Let's get it back to her. Ooh, that's a new pistol. Sure. We'll take, this, we'll take the pistol. We'll leave everything else for them. Because it, it's probably their stuff. He says, still taking stuff from them. Okay. So, we'll go back to... Wait, where is Nora? Oh, Nora's just directly north of us. That must be where that little little one she was in is. So we'll just drive due north for it. And then we'll just leave. And pretend the other quest isn't happening. Because that last time was really annoying. Vetra, remember when I told you that PB was looking at me frequently? It was yeah. a few minutes ago. Is it getting annoying? Want me to say something? No, no, no. It's just that... Lately, I find myself looking back. Aww. Oh, come on. Come on, that, that that's prime Vetra response, isn't it? Prime... Uh, resp oh my goodness, that's a big hole in the ground. Did Vetra just, like, make a response? Like, oh, that's kind of romantic. And maybe give her give him advice on romance. We're checking out that camp, right? What, what camp? Oh, that camp? No, no, leave me alone. But no, it's like no, it's like all these really, really cool character moments they set up, they just don't go anywhere with. It's really, really annoying and disappointing. There we go. Yes. Here's the thruster. I got your ship's thruster back. Well, catalyzer. Same thing. Seriously, I wasn't sure you'd pull it off. Mm, it was easy. Anything with the Nexus. Your work helps the colonization efforts. Least I could do. Glad somebody appreciates me. I didn't go that far. Well, I'll install this and be on my way. I've got a lot of planet to cover. Be careful out there. Right. I hadn't thought of that. Thanks for the rescue, Pathfinder. I don't mean for the sarcasm. I know this is me, and that's a bit... You know, bit rich, me saying no need for the sarcasm, but come on. So we've done. Have we done the mission here? I haven't been paying attention. I'm. Yes! Have. What? I can't even remember what the mission was on Eladin. But I know I've done it. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Ah, oh, dear. So we're gonna have to head back. We're gonna have to head up to Kadada with PB. No, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, that's changed. 
We'll have a look at that, uh, I think, later. I think, actually, we might put the cut in here. Let's get back onto the Tempest. We're done on, on Elodin for the moment. Unless we get quests again later. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. These things walk about and it shows us the Tempest. Yes, I know, we've had this before. They always have this... I, I just come up with, like, two or three different ones that rotate. Just so you see different things. So, we're back on the Tempest. Uh, we're going to fly to Kadara next time and do PB's mission. Welcome back. Hello. Any interesting emails while I'm here? Garden, thanks again for coming with me. If you wanted to know the plants we seeded, what are... Uh, Tiral Azana, handful of water, a planet, a plant, a planet, a plant from Rannoch. Common Irsal, a Thessian bloom that smells like honey. Lace and lilac, a flower they found on Eden Prime, and a few others. Cora. So, I would think next time we'll go to Kadara, do PB's mission, which I assume is a big thing on Kadara, I would suspect, maybe a multi-stage thing, like you go here, do a little thing, oh, you now have to go over here and do this thing, and then you go here and do things. Um, we'll do that, probably. We might actually do Kadara and Vold. That might wrap up basically everything we have. Is that everything we have? And we'll do the um, Vold, Kadara, speak with Suvi on the Tempest. Actually, let's do that right now. And then, um, that because that might give us a new place to go to. If they're both on, if that's also Kadara, that'll be brilliant. Um, so we'll do that um, now. And I think, yeah, next time we'll work around that. And we might look at the codex. Well. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. The cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. Well, we know so little about them. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed cat ship, it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. <sighs> Do I have to capture a cat now? So you're saying I have to track down some cat? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those cat genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Well, I have time now. Let's do this. Uh, I thought I'd be right by cutting it, so I might get another episode out. This might actually be the beginning of its own episode. Almost. Me, me saying I'm going to put a cut in. Uh, that sounds like a thing that happened to me. Lexi! Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but it, but it's not. It's... it's... Uh... it just locked onto a transmission. Uh, this could be dangerous. Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is... audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Mm, enemy of my enemy? Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. Yes. You don't mean try to make some kind of deal? Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. Oh, that's Eos. So, we got anything on Eos to do? We've got a thing on Kadara to do. A thing on Vol to do. Sigh. 
I think what we're doing. The problem, the only thing is, I'm fairly sure they've said they're not going to do another game in this series, which is really annoying because this this is setting up something for the next game. It feels like it might not be, but I certainly get that feeling that this kind of dissension in the cat ranks is something for a later story. And the decisions that we would be making on it now would be having an impact, but I'm fairly sure they said they could basically scrap the Andromeda series, which is kind of sad because there are a lot of good things here, or, or maybe not maybe not good. There's a lot of good potential here that is kind of uh, not being used properly is the problem. So, kind of a bit, eh. Let's have a look at the, the journey so far, I think. So, finding a home... Uh, battle on the Archon's flagship. You save the Krogan trapped aboard the Archon's flagship, but only by leaving Solarian Pathfinder Raker behind. Yes. Crew like no one at Nakmore Drac. Do, 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 do. Um, um, in a, in a hard-fought battle on the Verakan, you impress Drac by putting the lives of his fellow Krogan ahead of the Solarian Pathfinder. Um, uh, the two of you let drinks on Kadara. One bar. Through all this misadventure, you've been shot. Drax been showing his age. The old Krogan's already half bot with all the synthetics keeping him upright. And Kesh fears that her grandfather's gunning for a not so early grave. Um, hmm. I don't like. Why isn't this in like order? Again, it's like they've put this at the end. Okay, it's to do with his death. Fair enough. But it's not in chronological order of the way you you've done it. And surely they'd be able to remember it. Or is it just kind of this is the order that it should be done in? Or they're expecting Cora. Um, yeah, since your gardening trip uh, to Eos, Cora is much calmer and more optimistic about her future, even if it doesn't involve being a pathfinder. She's ready to move forward. Uh, you and Cora have the utmost trust and respect for each other and make a strong team. Lexi. Lexi is concerned about the extent of Sam's control over your body. While she trusts both you and Sam, the fact remains the AI can stop your heart. Oh, yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Um, okay. Uh, turns out Sid's not content in just sitting by... Sit I said, I'll read all of this. I can't remember reading this all the way through. Vetra likes to describe herself as someone who gets things done. She seems very committed to your mission and the Pathfinder team's success. The fact she brought her sister Sid with her to Andromeda might have something to do with her dedication. She confi confided in you that Sid and Vetra's father abandoned them. She had to raise it alone. Her life has been spent keeping her sister safe and giving her the best life possible in their circumstances. If the initiative fails, Vetra will have failed Sid. She refuses to accept that outcome. Turns out, Sid's not content in just sitting around letting Vetra do all the work. Inspired by, by Vetra, Sid's taken it upon herself to help build the home she wants to see with unforeseen circumstances. Vetra has had to come to terms with the reality of her sister growing up and learning that she can no longer be responsible for protecting Sid from everything. The best she can do is offer guidance, what Sid needs most. With your recent successes against the Ket, Vetra has really begun to believe that. Despite all that's come before, you have a chance to make it in Helios. You spent a quiet moment together on a cliff on Kadara, and you and Vetra expressed your feelings for each other. Oh, Gil. Um, deepening the bond between you, Gil, has introduced you to his best friend, Jill. Uh... You express your spirit person. You express yourself. Yeah. You and Suvi have also spent some time talking about your respective families. Suvi's parents were both academics and inspired her to begin her journey into science. It's clear Suvi misses her family and occasionally experiences deep regret at having left them to pursue adventure. Talking it out seems to help, and she finds your chats uplifting. Yay! I'm helping. Rider. Oh, this just hasn't changed. I don't know. I don't know what's changing that on occasion. Agent change. Oh, nothing new there. I have to switch to the new thing. Doctor Kennedy, William Spender, blah blah blah. I know there's a lot of things there we could talk about, but I could go around and do all the leveling up. Um, I kind of don't want to at the moment. What's this? Oh, is that just pointing to you? I think it's pointing to you. No, it's pointing down. I don't know. I'm confused. Anything on AVP? I've not got anything to do. No. I don't know. I don't want to bother with the strike team. 
this like the idea is sound, but it's it's like they took the idea of Dragon Age from Dragon Age Inquisition, and then just took out the plot aspects of the stuff in Dragon Age Inquisition, which are the good bits. It's really weird. I also find it annoying. Like, like if I talk to Vet, oh, actually, can I talk to Gil? Because I've done things with Gil now. Maybe I should go around and talk to everyone actually. Because I've done a few things with people. I like, talked to Gil. Do you mention Jill? Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Uh, no, never mind. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Hey, you did a quest for me, but I'm not going to mention it or talk about it or reference it in any way, shape, or form because that, that would be good writing. That was harsh. I mean, accurate, but harsh. Like, Gil should comment. Actually, Jarl should say something. Let's go and talk to Jarl, because I, I mean, maybe it's because he's not one of the major companions. I mean, I don't think that's the reason, but let, let's at least pretend. So we'll talk to Jarl. Are you going to mention your family? Yes. Oh, of course you're not. I'll see you later, Jarl. Stay strong and clear. <sighs> I've done quests for these guys, and I know it's a little character bit rather than a full-on quest, but at least have them say something. Reference it. Like, Liam, oh, we played football, it was fun. Vetra, oh, we're in a relationship, oh. Cora, oh yeah, we did the gardening thing, and I kind of invited you because we're friends, even though part of, part of me wants to have a relationship with you because you were kind of teasing it for a few episodes. <laughs> For a number of a, a not small number of episodes in this um, let's play, um, yeah, like they should have little references to the little side stuff they ask you to do. But no, no, that would be sensible. Yeah. Uh, right, we now have a quest back on Eos, and one on Kadara, and one on Vold. I think we'll do Kadara next because that is a character. Th that is a that is a companion quest, and then we can think about the Salarians and the Ket and which one we're going to do next. Which I don't know which. Doesn't really matter. I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll find out when I do it, which will probably be next session actually. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.